Hi, my friends. Welcome to Lisa Yoga Angel. I'm Lisa. So this is something a little bit different. We are just going to have a short, gentle yoga practice, connect to our breath. And at the end, I have an angel card message for you. So there's the card. I've already prayed over the deck and just asked the angel spirit, God, creator, source, whatever resonates with you to bring forth a positive message for every soul who will watch this video. So if this resonates with you, it's for you. So let's come on to in the middle of our mat, just an easy seated pose, Sukhasana, sit comfortably. Good, let your sits bones be grounded down, round the shoulders up and back, and then close the eyes. Good, flip your palms up towards the sky. Touch your thumb and index finger together. Relax the mouth, relax the face. And take a deep inhale through your nose, keeping the spine nice and long. And a big exhale, let it come out of your mouth, keeping the spine nice and tall the whole time. Relax the skin on the face. Two more like that, a big, deep inhale. And an easy exhale. Last one, big, deep inhale. Big exhale. Just begin to connect to your center. Find stillness, let go of today, and feel yourself grounded right in the present moment. And then slowly open your eyes. Good, go ahead and open up your left leg out straight and you're going to keep your right knee bent. The foot is on the inside of the thigh. Good. Walk your hands behind you. Take an inhale. Open up the heart. Open up your chin. And then exhale. Slowly crawl it forward. Janu Shirshasana. Make sure you guys can see me here. Here we are. So a gentle forward fold. The knee can be super bent here, not forcing anything. Good, and breathe. And let's wave the spine a few times here. So inhale, lift and lengthen. And exhale, wave it down. Maybe crawl the hands out a little further. The breath opens us up and creates the space. Inhale. Open everything up, lift and lengthen the spine. Good, and then exhale. We move into that space. So this is the yoga happening. Maybe catch your ankle, top of the foot. Some of you might touch your toes. We never have to, it's okay. A little sway here might feel good. Janu Shirsasana, head to knee pose. This is one of the most therapeutic poses in yoga. Releasing, letting go of any tension, any stress. Big breath in. Big breath out. Beautiful, and then round and curl it up. A little counter pose here. So take your right palm behind your right hip, squeeze your belly, lift your hips, circle the top arm all the way up for a nice hip opener here. Just a counter pose, and then exhale, bring the seat back down. Good. Awesome. So switching sides. 
Extend your right leg out. Bend the left knee. The foot is on the inside of your thigh. Setting up for Janu Shursasana, head to knee pose, other side. So walk your fingertips back. Good, deep breath in, fill up everything, open the heart. And then on the exhale, crawl it forward. Gentle forward fold, breathe, 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 breathe. Good, inhale, we begin to lift and lengthen and we find more space. And on the exhale, we move into it. Good, again, inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Breathe. I know it's been a challenging year for many of us, so allow the breath or practice to help you just release here, just let go. All the challenges this year, all the stress, any anxiety, whatever happened today, this week, gather it up on the inhale. And on the exhale, let it go. Maybe even visualizing the earth, take it. Connect to your heart, find stillness. That peace within that our practice connects us to. Good, one more breath in. And easy exhale, slowly round and curl it all the way up. Sit nice and tall. Let's take that counter pose. Good, so taking that palm behind you, right behind your hip. Squeeze the belly, lift the hips up and forward. Circle that tarp, top arm up. Good, and then exhale, bring the seat all the way down. Nice. Let's go ahead and take Upavita Kanasana. So that's a wide V forward fold. So here we are. Open up. The knees can be bent. Doesn't have to be perfect. Good. We're all where we're supposed to be. Walk the hands behind you. Inhale, lift and open. Exhale, crawl it on forward. So making sure your knees and your toes are up towards the sky. That's the key. And then maybe wiggle your hips. I like to wiggle the hips. Flex your feet if that feels all right. And take it forward. Breathe. A big breath in. A big breath out. Walk it over to your left. Good. Let your right hand Catch the outside of your left foot and take a breath right into the side waist body. And exhale, letting go. Good, let that go. Walk it back to center and keep walking it to the other side. And if you have the room, if it feels good, let that left hand catch the outer edge of your right foot. And take an inhale right into the sideways body. And exhale, release. Just breathe. Anything that feels good for you here. You know, yoga should feel good. It should never be forced or no sharp pain in our practice. Let this practice be about connecting you to your breath, your heart. Good, walk it back to the center. Reach it forward <clears throat> one more time wherever you are. Big inhale. And exhale, walk it back. All the way up, the spine is nice and tall. Scoop your palms underneath your thighs. 
Good, bring the knees together. Let's take a little self-love hug here. So let your forearms wrap around your knees. Take an inhale, lift and lengthen. And then exhale, chin to chest. Self-love hug. Let it be healing to you. Maybe this has been the most challenging year of your life. Feel safe. Feel grounded. Feel protected. Everything is in divine order. And take a deep breath in. Have a moment of gratitude to yourself. You have the strength you've gotten through everything. Exhale it out. Good, and then look forward. Easy seated pose, Sukhasana. Sit nice and tall. Close your eyes, bring your palms together. Touch your thumbs to your heartbeat. Big, deep inhale. A big exhale. May we always be guided from the untruth back to the truth, from darkness back to the light, and from mortality to eternal life and freedom. Om Shanti, Om Shanti, peace, 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 peace. Be with you always. Namaste. Namaste, and now for our angel message just for you. Let's see what we got here. I don't even know what it is, so I'm going to come a little bit closer to you. Okay, so here we are. And this is from the deck Healing with Angels um, by Dorian Virtue. So, Angel Car, oh, okay, not expecting this one. Music. So right away here, I kind of feel hmm, communication, um, vibration. What does this mean to you? So let's see what the book says. You know, you kind of go by your instinct too. What was your first thought, you know, when you look at the cards? Okay. So the angels guide you to immerse yourself in beautiful music. Music lifts your spirit above earthbound concerns and elevates your thoughts to divine love. You have angels with you who want to help you through the healing properties of music. So let's play some music today, this weekend. By drawing this card, the angels ask you to add more music into your life. They guide you to play soft background music while you dress, work, and play. They ask you to whistle and sing often. You may also have drawn this card because of your own musical gifts. Have you felt guided lately to compose a song? participate in a musical play, join a singing group, a band, or play an instrument. These inner nudges may be coming from your angels who can see your God-given gifts. They know that your musical talents will help others, so they ask you to be an earth angel by expressing your gift of song and melody. So, okay, we have some musicians out there. Um, but you know what? Music, what I'm going to take from this card is... Music has the power to really shift your energy and shift your mood almost instantly. I love music. I play it as much as possible, you know. So maybe try putting together a playlist, a peaceful playlist or an inspirational play playlist or an uplifting playlist um, this week to try to help lift your spirits because I know, like I said, it's been quite a year for all of us. So 
I hope this resonates with some of you. Let me know how you like this practice, if you like this little angel card idea. Um, let me know if you like it, you don't like it, it's all good. Click subscribe to stay in touch and I look forward to practicing with you again. Have a beautiful day.